video, I want to give a big, big, huge thank you to EOS for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now, first things first, I just want to go ahead and mention how every time after a shower, literally every single time after a shower, I do not, I repeat, I do not walk out the house without lotion in my full body. That's one of the things that I do every single time and after I take a shower is I have to put on lotion every single time I get out of the shower. So with that being said, let me put y'all on because y'all know I love putting y'all on to EOS Shea Better Body Lotion, which I love y'all. I freaking love this. So one of the things I like about EOS Body Lotion is that it provides 24 hours of moisture, y'all. 24 hours. And one thing I do not like is having dry skin, especially with fall being here and then winter next up is getting cold. Y'all already know skin about to be dry. And some of the top ingredients is Shea Oil and also Shea Butter, which if you know those ingredients, y'all know it leaves your skin super, super, super soft. It's also super lightweight, which that is one of the main things I love about this body lotion because I hate products that leave your skin feeling extra, extra, extra greasy. And this product doesn't do that. It just leaves your skin feeling super, super soft and smelling so good. Another thing, you guys, is that one of the things I love is smelling good and EOS body lotion has me smelling like your girl is wearing perfume and one of my favorite scents is vanilla cashmere because let me tell y'all this smells like fall. EOS also has another new fragrance which is called fresh and cozy for the cozy vibes. I also love the fact that EOS body lotion feels high quality and it also makes your girl feel luxe for only $8, y'all. This only $8. You get a bang for your buck. <laughs> so if you guys wanna check out EOS Body Lotion, it is available at Walmart in four different scents, including Fresh and Cozy, which is the new fragrance I told y'all about. So don't forget to try EOS Shea Better 24 Hour Moisture Body Lotion, and let me know what you guys think. And again, I wanna give a big thanks to EOS for sponsoring this portion of the video. So now let's get on to the vloggy vlog. Good morning, OGs. It is a new day, and today is actually going to be a super, 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 super exciting day. And I know I always say that, y'all, but really, all the days be exciting, but for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, today, whew, it's gonna be an exciting day. So I have a lot to tell y'all, I have a lot to unpack, I have a lot to show y'all. So first things first, y'all already know, gotta read my to-do list, I already have my to-do list already made, I made it last night, so I need to read the to-do list, let y'all know what the plan is for today, so let's do that first. First off, I just wanna say like, how today, like not today, but like, it's fall today actually, but like not the first day, it's been fall for a while, the trees are turning orange, I decorated y'all, so I gotta show y'all the house, the fall decorated house, like all of that, but let me read y'all the to-do list, to list and the plan for two. Day. Number one, so I already did my morning routine. That was at the beginning of the vlog, like what I do in the morning. I already showered, brushed my teeth, washed my face, um, did my skincare, did my body care, did all of that earlier this morning. So that's already complete. And now we are into the vlog. So before we, before I get to going, leaving the house and doing all that, I'm gonna make these pumpkin cinnamon rolls. But like, I got the like idea off of TikTok, which was like, Pour the heavy cream and making the icing extra. I don't even know y'all, but I seen that was TikTok, so I'm gonna make it for y'all. This morning, I am, I gotta do my makeup because I'm going out today, y'all. I'm going apple picking. I'm going on an apple picking day, and I'm super excited because for a multiple, multiple reasons, never been apple picking. I always wanted to do like strawberry picking, apple picking, like them type of activities. And obviously, since it's fall, they have apple picking in season. So they have like, two different apple picking places, actually three different ones outside of like Atlanta, obviously, it's far out in Georgia. Is it Georgia? I think it's still Georgia, but it's about like an hour and a half away. So we probably gonna hit two different ones because they're three minutes apart. So going apple picking, can't wait for that. I gotta show y'all my new fall decor and pretty much coming back home later today and doing movie night. So I'm about to get started on making the cinnamon rolls because I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I gotta pick up my outfit and then I gotta do my makeup and then we gotta be out by a certain time so we can get there on a good time. And yes, that's pretty much the plans for today. So let's get it. First things first, I have to get my glass pan from out of the cabinet and it's all the way up there. All right, so I got all the ingredients you need. You need butter. 
obviously because we're gonna put that at the bottom of the pan so that the cinnamon rolls don't stick you need okay so this is everything you need y'all brown sugar powder sugar cinnamon obviously the cinnamon rolls i got pumpkin cinnamon rolls because <laughs> it's fall so pumpkin everything so i got flavor pumpkin cinnamon rolls so you can get either or you can get regular flavor or you can get pumpkin flavor if your store has pumpkin flavor and then heavy cream so that's pretty much everything you need and then for the butter i'm gonna melt it a little bit i'm about to cut my butter put it in the microwave for a little bit so that it can get soft and then we assemble the cinnamon rolls which i cannot wait y'all i'm super excited i'm not sure what the point of the heavy cream is but it looked like it make it soft it looked better it looked like it's gonna taste better so we're doing it just cover the whole bottom of the pan for one so it don't stick and for two we love what cup put it in it and it's gonna make it taste better anyways all right boom i think we're done all right y'all so since my pan is covered we're gonna open up and so obviously the cinnamon rolls already come with icing y'all but you're supposed to mix the icing that it come with with sugar what else a little milk what else? Powder sugar. And then you're supposed to make more sauce, more outside of that sauce. This is easy. And then this is the part, y'all, that I don't know what's the point of it, but I think it's supposed to make the cinnamon roll more soft, more doughy, like more chewy, like real soft. So, and they don't really have no measurements. So I'm just gonna pour it in there until it's like covered at the bottom. And then too, y'all, I think it's supposed to make the cinnamon roll thicker, I think. No, bigger, I think it's supposed to make it bigger too. I think the heavy cream is supposed to seep in the cinnamon rolls and make them bigger. I already preheated my oven to 350, so I'm gonna put these in for about 30 minutes. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. Hey Google, set a timer for 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes, starting now. By the way, I forgot to show y'all my Halloween socks. Look at them, we got pumpkins on the side. Can y'all see? <laughs> she festive. I think so cute, I love them. All right, y'all, so I put the icing that was in the container already. So it was super, super thick. So I'm gonna end up putting it in the microwave so that it can melt down a little bit. I don't want it to completely melt. I just wanna get it not too thick. You're gonna need sugar, powdered sugar, butter, the ice that I already come with, and then like milk. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave for about 10, 20 seconds, cause I don't want it, I don't want it to compete in milk. I just want it soft, so about 10 seconds. All right, y'all, so I did 10 seconds, but it's not completely melted, but it melted down a lot. I'm gonna do about two tablespoons of brown sugar, and then about one tablespoon of powdered sugar or two, two tablespoons, two big tablespoons. I got it in here, and then I got my little mini whisk. Look at my little mini whisk, y'all, it's so cute. So I just mix it up, and I guess when it's too thick, that's when you add the little milk. Oh, oh, y'all, hope I ain't add too much. I think that's supposed to be enough. Okay, I see it coming together. And honestly, y'all, I may or may not add a little bit more powdered sugar. Y'all see it? It's really icing. All right, y'all, so I took it out of the microwave and the butter slowly melting. But look at it, it looks so good. I don't think I need to add anything else. I think that's perfect. Actually, take that big. I'm gonna add a little bit more powdered sugar to make it a little bit thicker. And then, that's it. And then we done. Y'all know, clean as you go. So y'all, I didn't end up putting cinnamon in here because I know I said that's one of the ingredients. But obviously one of the ingredients is cinnamon if you have like the regular icing. But since this icing already had pumpkin spice, cinnamon, and all that in it, I don't think it needed and it tastes good. So it ain't needed. And the longer it sits, the thicker it'll become. I couldn't resist not looking, y'all. I didn't open it because I don't want to like affect the cooking, but Look at these joints, they freaking huge. So another thing I like doing in the mornings now is drinking tea. Well, obviously I've been drinking tea every morning and every night, so I kind of slacked off, but now I'm back on it. And one of the teas that I drink now in the morning is called lavender, 
chamomile I think that's what it's called and I was referenced this tea at a YouTube summit and I did like this um, segment that was called like burnout and she's pretty much giving you the tools to kind of relax your mind and to relax your body so it was pretty much doing things you love drinking tea and specifically specifically <laughs> chamomile tea and what was another thing that was on there using essential oils so I, I do have diffusers so those are a few other things that I do in the morning so I got my tea well not my tea I got my water my hot water boiling now and I'm about to make my tea y'all know I got my whole tea with all of my teas in it don't come for me y'all because I literally just throw the whole thing in it but another thing that it also helps with is healthy digestion and by the way, I've never tried chamomile tea in general. Like, I just got put on to that at the summit when she mentioned it. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm getting it because she said get it. And she was a, she wasn't a therapist. It was something else she said she was. I can't even remember what she was, y'all. But she lived in Atlanta. And obviously, I'm going to take the advice. But let it steep for about five, six minutes. I just leave it in there and let it do what it do. And add honey. And I sit on my balcony and drink this every morning. So tea is made, I'm about to go on my balcony, drink this, and begin the rest of my morning. Cheers. All right, y'all, I'm about to open this knife set I got, and don't come for me, because clearly, as you can see, I already have one. However, I went searching around, looking around online, and I found this knife set. And keep in mind, this is the type of knife set I wanted before I even bought this one, but I couldn't find it nowhere, but then it popped up, you know, in my eyesight, which means, buy it so what did i do i bought it and if you look closely can you see it's a white little thingy thing with gold gold y'all gold knives and you kids can't beat that so i had to get it what i'm gonna do with this i don't know donate it somebody will need it i mean i got gold spoons gold scrolls gold forks so why not have gold knives and the good thing about this as well is that it won't take up too much room. This is like obviously wider, this is more narrow, so this will take up less room. So I have a great reason, y'all. I have a good reason. You see how much room this takes up versus how much room this takes up, especially on the counter. And then look at it, y'all. It doesn't even, it doesn't even cover up those little plugs back there, how this one do. So it makes sense, y'all. It makes sense. I know it do. Just to be biased, but I actually have a great logical reason. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and take these knives out. Oh, baby, they individually wrapped. Okay, okay, all right. It also came with like a bonus. It's a bonus, y'all. Oh, more scissors. So what are these? Y'all, it come with two scissors. That one, it come with two scissors. So something's different, uh -huh, uh -huh. And look at the gold knives. Look at this. Can you, you can't tell me this was not worth buying. I had to get it out, so I got it. This one say cheese. See, the other one ain't had this. Another one, it say pizza. I'm cute. Oh yeah, and we are done. Look at this, y'all. You can't tell me. Let me go ahead and slide it in this space. I don't know, which one y'all like better? I like this because it's gold, it's white, it looks better, it don't take up too much room. And look y'all, it got a built-in knife sharpener. And these are way, 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 way more heavy to we like they extra heavy compared to the other ones too. This is the two side by side. Comment below which one y'all think is better. I'm going with this one. All right y'all, so I am about to begin my makeup so I can go ahead do my makeup, knock it out. I kind of have an idea of what I'm wearing, so we're gonna do that after I finish my makeup. But look, y'all, let me show y'all my candle I'm burning. Y'all see it? If y'all watch my Insta story, I did a dump, but made these at like this candle making place. It was so much fun. It was like bring your own bottle, so you brought your own bottle and you kind of like make your own candle and like look, 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 look. And it smells so good, so I added like baby powder, linen, so much stuff to mine, so mine smell like clean. 
And so you name it, and I name mine Lorve, obviously, L O R V A E. And then you have a, you put an information, and my information was your name is beautiful. So I thought that was so cute. So I'm burning it now. About to do my makeup, listen to music. So this is gonna be a time lapse. Let's get it. in the middle of doing my makeup because the timer just went off. So it looks like they are done. So let's take them out. Ooh, look at them. They look so good. <laughs> but y'all see what I'm talking about, how big they get. So I'm gonna let them sit and cool, cool off while I finish my makeup. All right, y'all, so the makeup is done. Hair is already done. All I did was just brush it down. It was already down. So all I had to do, lay a few edges. Makeup is done, so I'm about to put on my clothes. Well, kind of figure out what I'm wearing, put on my clothes, eat my breakfast, and then we head now. All right, y'all, so we got the cinnamon rolls ready, and I got the icing, so I'm about to just pour it over. <laughs> y'all, this looks so good. And boom, there we have it, y'all. Look at them, it looks so good. And this, like the heavy cream, y'all, it kind of absorbed in the cinnamon roll. But look at it, it's so pretty. All right, y'all, so I got on my outfit because I already knew, kind of, like I had the idea of what I was wearing. Rocking Katie Mae, obviously. I knew I wanted to wear this jacket because I got this jacket like four or five years ago, never wore it, and since, it is gonna be a little hot today, but it's still fall, still bringing out the jacket. And then I wore these boots because they match the olive in the the olive bag. Do you see the vision? And since it's apple picking, obviously I wanted to wear boots and not like no heels or no tennis shoes that I care about it. I didn't want to get dirty because it's like walking like the field and stuff. So this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> So I'm about to finish making breakfast and then we about to head out. So this is turkey sausage. So I'm about to make turkey sausage. Y'all already know, I already got the cinnamon rolls. And then I got my fruit, my grapes. So I'm about to eat fruit, cinnamon roll, turkey sausage. I am so excited to try one. I'm gonna put it in the microwave to let it get a little bit more warm. All right, y'all, so I'm about to try it. Here it is. Can you see the focus? Alright. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It's the only way to make cinnamon rolls now. Two now, two. Alright, y'all. It's about 10 something. 10. 10 53, y'all. It's about to be 11 o'clock. I already ate my breakfast. I literally rushed it. <laughs> I ate, I ate, uh, I say strawberries. I ate grapes, that freaking cinnamon roll, y'all. So freaking good. So if you ain't never tried it like that, try it like that, because it's the only way I'm about to make cinnamon rolls. And then I had my sausage, but I sold y'all the fits. I'm about to get ready to head out. Let's go. So we have 37 minutes left until we get there. We arrive at y'all at 12, 37 and like there's a pig race there that started 12 30 so hopefully we make it but it's say 37 minutes as y'all can see it's red so it's a little traffic So we made it to the apple picking place. And as you can see, I got the bag with the apples. Kind of already got apples in there. They said it was kind of limited. And as you can see, some of the trees don't have nothing on them. Kind of kind of spurts. And then you look on the ground, and then it's a bunch of like apples already on the ground. That's clearly not good. But got some good ones in here already. This is what it looks like. You pretty much just walk up and down just to see if you could find any. You can kind of see apples on this tree, but 
Depends on if they good or not. Don't know. See y'all, these trees barely got any leaves. Those trees don't got leaves. Those mostly do. These don't have no leaves. Then you can kind of see. Oh, I think this one might be a good one. Oh, dang it. See y'all, if it look like that, it don't mean it ain't good, but I only seen it like this, so I assumed it wasn't good. It was good, but then you look and see, it's bad. I think we found a good tree. It got a lot of good red apples on these. I'm not even sure, y'all. They're not labeled, so I don't know what type of apple is what. But obviously, I know like sometimes green is Granny Smith and red is regular, but like this, this is a good, this is a good tree. They got good apples. You see this? It's so pretty! See y'all, the pig race. And it's Monday through Friday, 12.30 only. So, we missed it. Mm -hmm. They so little! Fresh, that was extra hot. Mm. Oh, it's so soft on the inside. You know what it tastes like? A funnel cake. 10 out of 10. All right, y'all. So it is 2.23, basically 2.30. And like I said, it was two different apple picking places that was three minutes apart. So now we are at the second one. But we're not going to pick here. We're just going inside because they had famous apple fried apple pies. I don't know, but we getting it because we got the apple side of donuts from the other place and then we're gonna get the pies from here and then we also gonna get another slushy if they got the slushies here because them that slushy was five we should have got a big size but we are at the second apple picking place so let's go in all right y'all so i wanted to get apple and a peach pie but Peach was sold out. Well, it was an eight minute wait, and I wasn't waiting, so I just got apple. As y'all can see, ate the apple. And look at it, y'all. It's a fresh fried apple pie. So the apple filling is inside of it, and it looks like it got glaze on top. And so this one is a peach cider, and this one is the regular apple cider. But I like this one from the second place more than the one from the first place. So I know y'all stopped at the barbecue place and got these freaking ribs. And let me tell you, this is what I'm talking about. It ain't got no barbecue sauce on it. It didn't come with barbecue sauce. I automatically dry rib, which is what I was explaining to y'all. That barbecue sauce was going ribs. And baby, this is 10 out of 10. Look at this bone. I did this. Look at that. So good. And this is the only thing I got, y'all. Just the ribs, because the size of one side. So ribs only, and then I can eat this for dinner. All right, y'all, so I am back home from apple picking, and it was so much fun, y'all. Like I said, that was my first time going, and 10 out of 10 would recommend. So, if you ain't ever been um, apple picking, what is it, strawberry picking, like, they have, like, the same place that has the apple picking has, like, strawberries and blueberries during, like, the springtime. But, yes, y'all, so now I'm back home. I gotta show y'all my fall decor because it's so cute, and I literally decorated this in, like, a day or two. Like I went all around the stoves, got all the stuff in like one sitting, one day, and then just decorated in one day. So now I gotta show y'all. All right, y'all. So first on my island, we have like this little thingy and like do a little spin around. And I was looking for like a lazy Susan anyways to go on like my island so that I could put like all the cute stuff. So I got this little thingy that say give thanks. And the good thing that I like about this is that when it's time when Halloween is gone. It'll still be fall, and fall is technically like harvest, and it's still pumpkin-y and all of that. So, right here I have candy corns. You see inside, I got candy corns. 
I got this candle, and then I got this one, which I'm never, ever, ever, ever using this, y'all, because look, it's a whole candle in the pumpkin. Tell me they cute. And then I just added this little thingy, these little random sticks, and then a jar. And then I got these two um, Halloween cups. Trick or treat, and then the pumpkin one. This one my favorite. All right, y'all. So I think I have like a real deal vase obsession because I literally bought these two vase and a bunch more when I know I don't need it. But I had to get this one obviously because it gives fall colors. So I just added the little flowers that was in here that was sitting right here anyways, but it was in a different jar into this one because it gives the fall vibes. And then obviously we have like the pumpkin that matched my house, and then I got this little vase that I see here. And I added like these little fall little flowers. I don't know what these is, y'all, or what they call. I just know they get fall, so there they are. And then in my little bowl, we just I just filled it up with a whole bunch of pumpkins, like random pumpkins inside here. All right, y'all. So right here is my little table decor, and I was gonna do like a plate setting, but I was like, no, not for fall. So I just bought this little runner that matches kind of like the same fabric or the same texture as my rugs. But then I got these fake pumpkins, they white. And then I got this, which y'all, I found this randomly and I was like, oh yeah, I gotta get it. And it turns on. See, isn't that so cute? I love it. And then up here, I just ended up changing the flowers that were already in this vase into like fall flowers. So the ones that are in here, if you know, it's like just regular green and I think it's called Olive Branch. The ones that I got that's kind of like all season, but these, I just replaced it with fall colors. And right here, I just got this little regular skull, just black. I thought it was cute and it matched my house. A regular candle, pumpkin spice, but it's so cute because it's like fall on it. And then I got these little two pumpkins, y'all. These right here is heavy. These ain't, I think they plastic, but I don't know, cause they like super, super heavy. Like they feel like real pumpkins. All right, y'all, so when you come over here, you have like my fall. So I ended up changing all my pillows. So some of them are regular pillows and some are these pillow covers, pillowcase covers that I got. So I got this one, cause it look cute. I got this little burnt orange and then I got this mustard looking color. And then I got this throw. Never had this before y'all, but I had to get a throw that matched fall. And on top of that, it kind of matches this pillow and I didn't even know. So I just ended up changing the pillow covers on these. I got these two pillows. I got these little pumpkin. Isn't this so cute? This is kind of like my little fall area right here. I changed out, I got two new vases. These are new, y'all. I told y'all I got a session. So I got these two, put these in here, and you zoom in closely, look closely. It's pumpkins on them, little tiny pumpkins. Isn't this so cute? And then right here, I just got the same fall plants that's on the other side. And then these two are candles, but I don't wanna light them because they too cute. So I just put them there for decoration. All right, y'all. So now I'm about to finally refill my cookie jar. As y'all can see, it's a cookies. So I'm about to refill this because I found these um, holiday cookies that were orange. So it gives the vibe, I'm so excited. Look y'all, they orange. Oh, it's a witch y'all. Can you tell? It's a witch. All right, y'all, it's done. Look at it, it's so pretty. It looks just like Halloween and fall because they orange. So, I'm just gonna sit back on my counter. But look at it, it's so cute. Y'all see my PJs with my Halloween socks? These are so cute, <laughs> So, let me show y'all what I got from the market at the place. So. Y'all already seen the apples picked in the ones that got inside the market. And y'all, look at this one. Look how big this is. So what I'm gonna do with these apples, I'm gonna make caramel apples, I'm gonna make homemade applesauce, I'm gonna make 
what else? Homemade fried pies. Cause I want a peach, so I'ma make peach and I'ma make apples. Cause I already got apples. So I already showed y'all the pie and the donuts. And then, so this one is new. It's called pumpkin butter with honey. So I thought it would be good on biscuits and I also got apple butter, which that's old. I um, been eating that since I was younger. And I was like, oh, it looked good because it's probably made straight from like they fruit on the farm. So I got pumpkin butter with honey, which that is new. Never had that before, so I'm gonna try that and let y'all know how that is. And then I just got apple butter. So that's everything I got. I'm about to warm up that pie because I didn't want to eat it because it wasn't like super, super hot. So I'm just gonna put it back in the oven and eat it. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Y'all know since it's fall, I turn on my fireplace now, which it can get hot or you could just have a fire going and then be no heat coming out. So that's what I do because I don't want it to be too hot. I just like the vibes of it. <laughs> so we turn it on. I was about to take my makeup off and get ready for the night, but obviously the grill is hungry again. And I've been craving a freaking grilled chicken wrap. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to go get in my PJs, y'all in the Halloween PJs. But before I go do that, I'ma show y'all the house and how it looks at nighttime. So this is how the living room looks. Well, not the living room, the dining room with this little centerpiece and the light in the middle. Look at that, it's such a vibe. And I forgot to show y'all outside. I decorated. I mean, I didn't do much. I just added pumpkins to the outside. So this little thingy lights up. And then I just got like these other two Pillow, I mean not pillows. I got these other two pumpkins that match the vibe, it match the aesthetic, it match like the outdoor with the darker one and then the lighter one. I feel like it still matches. I didn't get anything for out here, but I did order, I did order y'all some freaking pumpkin pillows. That's like something like this fabric. It's kind of like this fabric, but they pumpkin. They in the shape of a pumpkin. So I might put those out on the balcony because they balcony vibes. Plus I got too many pillows in my living room. But this house is, y'all, it is such a bag, y'all. I got the fall vibes going on. So I bought like 10 of these fake candle lights to like put them around the house. So I added them onto the Lazy Susan. And this is what it looked like. I also have some in my room and also my bedroom. I'm like this is the vibes at nighttime, y'all. Y'all can tell me. It ain't giving cozy fall Halloween. Y'all, I got my chicken wrap. Wait, 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 there we go. Ooh, it looks so good. Y'all, and look, I even turned the fireplace on in my living room on the TV, cause ain't no fireplace in here. But I'm back from eating. So I am back at home, y'all, and I'm tired. So I'm about to relax, chill, hang out, watch TV, and KO because I gotta get up early tomorrow because I gotta clean up and I have to be somewhere. But I'm about to close out and I hope you all enjoyed this fall buggy bug. Fall buggy bug. And I'll see you next one. Bye.